So, the slips planners that were written in SRI were in the blocks world domain and we have already seen a glimpse of what the blocks world domain is like. So, let us quickly recap that. So, this is what a state in a blocks world domain looks like. Uh, is described by a set of statements that conform to the following predicate schema. So, how do you describe this state essentially? We describe it using predicates. So, when you say on x y, you are saying that block x is on block y. These x and y do not have to be specific this thing, they are like variables. But, but on is the predicate which is used in describing the state. Then we can say that x is on table essentially. So, the original strips domain had these two as separate uh, predicates. You could have said on x table also, but this is how they model the domain essentially. So, we are just following their representation. Then there is a predicate called clear x. What does clear x mean? That no blocks is on block x. So, if you look at the figure on the right, you can see that a is clear, c is clear, f is clear, j is clear and all these are, there is nothing on top of that. Then there can be a predicate which says holding x. What does this mean? It means that there is a robot arm. Uh, so, we are talking about a one armed robot for the moment and that robot arm is holding an object x. It can only hold one object at a time and either it is holding it or the arm is empty essentially. The robot arm is not holding anything. These are the predicates which can be used to describe the state as shown on the right. There are no metrics involved. Essentially, this is a qualitative description. There is no mention of how big are the blocks. We assume all of them are of the same type. There is no constraint on the size of the table. We assume that the table is indefinite, but we assume that you know they can be just stacked on top of each other or they can be put on the table. A block can have only one block on, on it essentially and that is evident from the predicate that on x y can be true only for two blocks or at least it is it's an assumption that we are making in the strips domain. Then we assume that we have an arbitrarily large table that one armed robot can hold only one block at a time and now we describe the operators of the actions that are there in the blocks world domain essentially. So, a planning operator in the world of domain of planning is described by the following uh, constituents. It should have a name essentially. So, if you remember when we were talking about uh, the 8 puzzle, we had briefly mentioned that the actions can have names like up, down, left or right, but now we are being more kind of descriptive here. So, an operator will have a name and it will have some arguments that it will take. So, for example, you might say pick up a block or something like that. So, that block becomes an argument uh, of certain type of objects essentially. Then every operator will have a set of preconditions which we will uh, represent by the predicate preconditions of O. O is an operator and pre is a predicate which says that these are the preconditions of O. A set of positive effects which will be described by effects positive is effects plus of an operator. In the original strips language, uh, this was called as an add list that these are the predicates which will become true after the action has been executed. So, you add those predicates to the state description. Likewise, we have negative effects that these predicates will become false after the action is executed. In the original slips, this was, this was called as a delete list essentially. So, it had these two different lists. So, the slips operator had a precondition list, an add list and a delete list. But in modern day PDDL languages, we describe them using these functions. So, as I said, an action is an instance of an operator with individual objects as arguments. It can, it is sometimes also called as a ground operator or a grounded operator, that there are no variables in it. So, let us describe the uh, uh, 
operators in the slips planning domain. So, if you remember the predicates are given on the right on table, on, clear, holding and arm empty essentially. This is how we will draw an action, but in, in PDDL you do not draw it, you write it as a uh, 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 piece of text essentially. So, an action has preconditions and we will draw the preconditions above the action. So, in some sense there is a sense of an arrow here that these preconditions are preconditions for that action and the action has post conditions or effects which we will draw below the action essentially. So, one action for example, in the strips domain is called unstack x from y which basically means that there is some block x which is on block y and the robot arm is empty and you can pick up this block x from top of block y and this action is called unstack. You can see that the, the preconditions for this action are that the arm must be empty, that x must be on y and there must be nothing on top of x which means x is clear. If these three conditions are true, then we say that this unstack x y action is applicable and what are the effects of that? It has positive effects and negative effects. What, what will be the positive effects? The positive effect will be that you are holding x and that y has become clear because you have lifted x on from top of y. The negative effect will be that your arm is no longer empty, that is because you were holding it and x is no longer on y essentially. We will come back to this and see as to what do we define that what happens to clear x that when you are holding the block is it clear or not. We will see the implications of this especially when we looked at a two armed robot. For the moment it does not matter because uh, it was clear before you picked it up and the only thing you can do is put it down or something like that then it will become clear. So, it does not matter whether we we whether we say that in the effects whether it is clear or not. Anyway, we will come back to that later. So, the original strips domain had these four actions, this unstack that we have seen for example, unstack B from C uh, or the other way of holding an object would be to pick it up. These two are different in the sense that unstack applies when, when a block is on another block and pick up applies when the block is on the table which is reflected by the uh, preconditions here that A is on the table and there is nothing on top of A and then the arm is empty. Then holding A becomes true, arm empty becomes false and A is no longer on the table. It is very similar uh, except that it takes only one argument, unstack takes two arguments. It tells you that you are unstacking, unstacking it from somewhere else. And in some sense the inverse actions of these two actions are put down, put down is the inverse of pick up. If you are holding a block, then you can put it on the table and it will become true on the table that the fact that it is on the table will become true and the arm will also become empty. Yeah, so I forgot to add here, uh, there is another effect which is not holding So, there is a uh, there is a negative effect that you are no longer holding it. If you are going to put it down, then you would not be holding it and arm will become empty and it will be on the table essentially. Likewise, if you are holding A and B is clear, then you can put it on top of B and we say stack A on B. So, this A becomes uh, on B, B is no longer clear because you have stacked A on top of V, arm is empty and as in this other example, this must become false. Holding A is no longer true, so it is a negative effect is added to that. So, I forgot to add that there. These are the four actions that uh, uh, four operators that the blocks world domain allows essentially. Uh, for the case put down B, uh, one predicate to be that, that uh, 
it is not on the table right this way no but you are already holding it holding b is to so the way the way the planning thing works it's a interesting point you have made we don't have to explicitly state that this is not true what happens is that in the planning community we describe states using predicates that we have seen on table on this thing and so on and the way that these actions are designed that uh, for example if you pick up a block or if you unstack a block the two actions that we have on the top so if you pick up a block or if you unstack a block a consequence of that is that it is no longer where it was so when you pick up a for example it's become true that it's no longer on the table so your question that should this be a precondition for putting it down that it's it's not already on the table is addressed by the fact that when you picked it up then we had deleted the fact that it was on the table so it it was on the table that was true but if we execute this action pick up a then that it is on the table is deleted remember this is a delete list or the negative effect essentially that effect that something was true in the state and it has become false so that is a natural consequence of the way that these planning operators are designed at any given point if you are moving forward doing action 1 action 2 action 3 it modifies the state to what the current state looks like essentially and that includes the fact that it has deleted that predicate from the from the description likewise here if you unstack it unstack b from c there is a negative effect which says that on b c is no longer true that's the meaning of the negative effect that the predicate the whole state is described using the set of predicates what mean that means what that this is true or this is not true so the one way to read the unstack action is if arm empty is true and if on b c is true and if clear b is true then this action is applicable and if the action is applied then holding b will become true clear c will become true on b c which is here will become false or it will be deleted so we only store in the state description we only store those predicates which are true so if we delete it that means it's false and this is what uh, a language like prolog would say negation by failure that if you can't show it to be true it must be false essentially but here we are explicitly saying that the way to implement a negative effect is to delete it from the state description so it will not be there so we'll just look look at quickly what is uh, the kind of algorithms that we will be talking about in state space planning in the blocks world domain there is a given state as described in this oval here and there is a goal description which describes the goal state so as you can see in this the given state is completely expressed or described the goal is only a partial description it only says that g should be on a and that b should be on j and that is described using these two predicates on j a must be true and on b j must be true we don't care about the rest of the world essentially so there you you can see that that g was on h initially and uh, b was on the table essentially so essentially we have to somehow transport b to on top of j and uh, g to on top of a essentially so what would be the plan the plan would be the optimal plan would be that you first uh, unstack a from b then you either stack it onto something or you put it on the table it doesn't matter so here we have said that it doesn't matter on what it what is a then you unstack f and put and keep it somewhere else and then you can unstack g from h and put it on wherever you put a and then you can pick up b and put it on to j this would be the optimal plan and this is what our planner should find us but the important thing is that the goal is a partial state description which means that 
of all the possible different states that are possible with this all these blocks all of those in which these two predicates are true that on g a is true and on b j is true that would qualify to be a goal. So, the goal test function will only check for the given state is completely known. So, whatever we have drawn in the picture will be expressed as a state as shown on the top. So, this is what this is just a set of sentences in uh, first order logic if you want to say or professional logic it does not matter because there are no variables there and it simply says that the arm is empty is true. So, you should read it as statements which are true or false. So, so these are uh, sentences in a logic like language arm empty is true A E stands for arm empty it is true then on table B is true. Now, this is, is indeed the case because B is on the table likewise on A B is true which is also the case because A is actually on B and clear A is true because that is also true there is nothing on top of A and likewise for the other columns we have a description essentially. So, the goal state is completely known it is described by this set of sentences and remember that if we now had said unstack A from B how would we change this goal state? If we had said unstack A from B first of all its preconditions are true what is the what are the preconditions for being able to unstack A from B? that A must be on B which is true as you can see here. Uh, A must be clear which is also true as you can see here and arm must be empty. So, these three are the conditions preconditions for being able to unstack A from B. Now, if you were to say okay, what will be the effects of unstack A from B you can you can apply and uh, that unstack A from B action what will be the effects? The effects of that would be that this will no longer be true that A is on B arm empty will no longer be true, but we will add this holding A to the states that is a positive effect and we will add uh, clear B that is also a positive effect and so these are the two positive effects and these are the two negative effects that we will delete them from this. So, you can see that in the new state description after unstack A B arm empty will no longer be there on A B will no longer be there holding A will be added to that and clear B would be added to that. We have not made any commitments about clear A we will leave it or, or, or delete it that is a matter of uh, design, but we will come back to that later. So, the given state is completely known if an action is applicable it changes that state and moves to the new state essentially. So, the simplest algorithm is forward state space planning this corresponds to the search algorithms that we have looked at you are in a start state you generate its neighbors go to one of the neighbors and so on and so forth. Uh, and that corresponds to what we call as forward state space planning we will take that up in the next 